Hi everyone, this is the third in a series of videos on my exploits with the DX Commander. Uh, and in this video we look at adding 80 meters and experimenting uh, with 80 on the DX Commander. Hope you enjoy it. So as a reminder, here we have the uh, DX Commander down on the floor, where it wouldn't normally be. In my setup it's either stored against the side of the house or it's, it's in position. Um, and just, uh, just to explain uh, for those new to the DX Commander, it's an old band HF vertical. <coughs> so if you can see here, we've got 10, 12, 17, 20, 30 and 40 metres. Um, and you'll see there's two unused um, nuts here. Uh, one's for the uh, for the feed off the coax and the other's spare. Um, so in my first experiment I used uh, the spare nut uh, and some spare spreaders, spaces in the spreaders all the way down uh, to add an 80 metre element uh, to run in parallel with the uh, existing 30 metre element. Um, in in Callum, Callum's original instructions, Callum the designer and builder of the DX Commander, um, he recommends you uh, exchange 30 for 80. Well I thought I'd make use of the spare the spare holes and try 80, but it didn't work on its own as a, as a, as a separate experiment. Uh, so you'll see later on that I've resorted back to removing 30 uh, and adding 80 instead. So you'll see here on the 30 there's a, a brown wire instead of a black, that's just some temporary wire I've used. Um, it's just um, from, from home flex two car, so there's, this changes the blue further along. Um, so it runs along the, uh, the, the uh, fiberglass pole through the 30 hole there, further up. Uh, you'll see here some of the shorter elements um, where they terminate and have a, a bungee cord and a connector to give it some, some uh, give uh, in terms of tension. So again, brown wire running all the way up. That's the top spreader, again using the 30, all the way up to the um, top double eye, uh, which caters for 40 and 30. In this case it's now 80, so this is where it shoots off uh, into a nearby tree or hedge or whatever you've got, as, as long as it's um, as, as high up as you can really. Um, so that's the DX Commander on the floor, uh, waiting to be um, put into position, uh, which we'll do now. So once you've got your DX Commander in position on its base uh, and guys, if you're using guys, it's just a case of connecting uh, this wing nut to the to the centre point of the coax and then you're ready to go. So here we have the uh, DX Commander in position. Um, there's no need to attach the upper guys if it's not windy um, or if you haven't got the guys at all. Uh, but I've just left them in position today to, uh, to make it look neat. And just down there is a coil of wire for 80 which we'll move on to next. So as I said this is a, <clears throat> a temporary setup at the moment. Uh, we've got the blue wire which is just under 20 meters long coming off the top of the DX Commander uh, through this clip, a bit of bungee to take some stretch and a cord running up to the tree. Um, so just a case of pulling this up, getting the tension just right so you're not pulling the DX Commander over or bending it too much. Uh, and in the case of a permanent setup, I'd have much lighter wire than this, so it won't be as heavy. Uh, so I'll pull it into position now. So here we are, just off the tree, down to the DX Commander. Not too tight, just a bit of slack. So just as a reminder from video two, uh, these are the uh, SWR readings from the, the standard DX Commander. Um, I've colour coded uh, red, amber, green. Uh, green being uh, one and a half below on SWR, uh, amber uh, between one and a half and three, uh, and red over three. And you can see all good results, um, just some tuning uh, of the antenna length to get to the top end of 10 metres, which is a very large band, uh, and these these two areas here easily uh, manageable by uh, the rigs here to you. Uh, so now we'll show uh, the effects of adding 30 uh, sorry, adding 80 to uh, the DX Commander without removing 30. So here we have the uh, results of the experiment uh, by adding uh, 80 meters uh, to the existing setup without removing 30. Uh, as you can see there, um, 80 meters, great, 3.7 megahertz, 2.1 SWR, 40 is fine, uh, 30 is moved up a bit, 
uh, as have the other work bands uh, there must be some interaction going on there uh, but that could easily be adjusted back down by just trimming the elements if you if you're planning to keep 30, 80 in place all the time surprisingly 20 meters disappeared altogether and i used an antenna analyzer uh, and it had gone completely uh, here moving down the band uh, the band sorry uh, we've got 17 uh, 15 meters which is is fine uh, always very low across 15 uh, 12 uh, 10 uh, which i've tuned for the bottom end of the band uh, and six meters there so this is um, like i say an experiment result this one um, i went a bit off spec uh, and added 80 without uh, adjusting anything else on the on the antenna uh, so now we'll see uh, what happens when uh, you actually remove the 30 meter element uh, and replace it with 80. so in essence uh, exactly the same 20 meters is back um, so there's obviously some interaction going on uh, between the 80 meter wire uh, and and the 30 meter wire uh, when a when a 20 meter transmission is going through it um, so perfectly fine 1.4 uh, middle of the band uh, and as i said the, these uh, work bands that are slightly high the 30 uh, 17 and so on uh, you could just tune your elements uh, to get it back in the band again so that's not a problem at all this is my original build uh, we're just adding 80 uh, temporarily so all in all uh, a success if, if you want to add 80 to dx commander it's perfectly achievable uh, just re temporarily remove the 30 element which you can always add back in if you need it uh, and if you are running 80 uh, say in a permanent setup then there's the opportunity there to, to retune your your work uh, elements if if they get affected on your setup again it'll be affected by how many radials you have in your in your ground plane uh, i've got 40 three and a half meters radials uh, so so whatever your setup is uh, might affect some of your tuning uh, anyway hope you found the video useful um, great uh, antenna i would recommend it thanks a lot